I guess this is a two hand job. Nice. Guys, I promise you, that's the first time I've ever done this in my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, like you said. Oh, oh hey! Well, oh, yeah, so. Yeah. Can you imagine how I feel? Uh. I feel like this as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, well, uh, my bugs just went inside me. <laughs> You're not ready for that move, are you? Good morning, everyone. I am in Pokhara in this beautiful, beautiful village, maybe an hour or so away from the main city center. And look at this beautiful nature that we're surrounded by. I'm going to go ahead and show you a full, typical day here in the village. So we've been searching the village for a nice, friendly buffalo. And I believe we found one just over here. This one doesn't mind me being that close to it. And I guess we'll go ahead and... Uh, Warm up the teeth. I can try. Yeah. Yeah. You come. Okay. So I guess this is a two hand job. Nice. Guys, I promise you, that's the first time I've ever done this in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who feels more violated. Me or the buffalo. <laughs> uh, this one is easier, huh? So you got different teeth. One is easy, yeah. one is loose, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm the only one that when I was a kid, I thought. Uh, you basically milk the dick of the buffalo, but it's not. This is basically the nipple of the buffalo. It's a strange location for a nipple, but uh, there you go. Hello. This one's very friendly, huh? Yeah. No kicking. Yeah. The other one, the other one wanted to kick him. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I got here, he was looking at me like, I'm gonna get you one day, you know? <laughs> but these ones are beautiful, man. So nice and calm. Let me see, can I even touch it? Oh wow, from the buffalo teeth all the way to this man's beak. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Oh man, nice warm buffalo milk first thing in the morning. Absolutely delicious man, look at this. You have a nice skin formed on top of it, basically from all the fat and all the boiling. Kept it nice and simple. No sugar, it's basically kind of sweet naturally and no salt, it's kind of salty already naturally with all the minerals inside it. You literally can't get fresher than that. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole process of planting rice. From uh, taking the oxes all the way down to the farm plowing the floor as well and planting the rice and watering it down the full process so let's go so as you can see behind me i got the full plow with me and uh didn't realize the the pointy bit at the back is like full metal so if i am not careful and i slip down that is my head gone Oh man. We've got one ox secured. The other one is coming up right here. Oh, and they, they don't mind, huh? They're used to it. They just kind of know exactly what's happening and just uh, happily get stuck into the machine. I guess the sooner they finish, the sooner they can get back. So they know what the deal is. As I was telling you, there's so many stones over here and uh, obviously you need to be careful because if you break the plow, it's game over. Oops. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was you. <laughs> I know, that's why you stopped. No, I thought it was you. I didn't know it was the ox. <laughs> that was even more scary. <laughs> so we've been going for about an hour or so and basically that whole land is completely ploughed. So uh, we're just stopping for a little bit of uh, honey chia just to cool down a little bit underneath this nice tree for a little bit of shade. Good job, man. Good job. Thank Very you. good job. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Mashallah. Very good. Mashallah. <laughs> and actually we've got the ladies joining us as well. So obviously here in Nepal the uh, jobs are kind of divided between male and female and it's not like in the western culture where people kind of fight about it it just goes by the traditions basically the men do the hard jobs like the plowing and the cutting and so on and when it comes to actually planting and taking care of the land it's more of like a mother nurturing type of uh, activity which is of course a female job so uh, that's why we got these uh, beautiful ladies joining us today and she is going to go ahead and show us how to plant this rice plants as well.
So we've got a beautiful, delicious meal in front of us. We have the sal roti. Oh, thank you so much. For you, Blay. Dai? Thank you. <laughs> you are my Dai now, huh? <laughs> you should see how hard this guy works, man. And he is skilled at everything he does. So from now on, I'm just calling him Dai. <laughs> and what a beautiful lunch that we have in front of us as well. So we have the sal roti and uh, we have the bath uh, with the chickpeas as well. Look at this. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can never get used to how delicious this is, man. The chickpeas, the potatoes. Mm. And this Nepali saluti, look at it. Mm. Nice and crispy. Dense with calories as well. Exactly what you need when you're plowing and doing a hard laborious job. Mm. So we did the first job of plowing it. As you can see, it's pretty flat, so we put this plow over here and now it's a completely different type of plow. This one will make it nice and flat already for all of this rice. Take a chica. Tika? Really? With mud. Yes. Are you joking? Really? With mud? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is, we, are, we are planting for rice. Oh, so you do this in yeah. the... Really? Wow, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. No. Tika no, as well, with mud? You didn't know either, huh? <laughs> so it's not just me, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. What time play? You take a video, then I'll show you, okay? Okay. You are looking handsome. Oh, yeah. Handsome, huh? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is going to be my Tinder picture. My Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows, man. He knows. I told you this guy has a spark in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. He's like a silver surfer. <laughs> Look at this. That is incredible. You'll try it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I was joking. <laughs> I'll try it. I want to try but I'm scared. This looks scary. No, no. No? no? Okay. Do the same later, huh? Do the same. I will try, yeah, yeah, I will try. I, I can't promise you it will look good this good, but I will try. <laughs> Be careful. Uh -huh. Otherwise, slippery, big problem in your leg, okay? Uh -huh. Huh. Huh. Oh, yeah, like this, huh? Huh. Oh, hey! Ah, no problem, we can take the compost. Well, he shot himself. Yeah. Can you imagine how I feel? Uh. I feel like this as well. Mm. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Because uh, you got to be careful. If your feet kind of slips, yeah. it goes under the rock. Yeah, That's your toe you gone. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. so many stones. <laughs> All right, so I guess the idea is just to get a little bit of the root. And basically, just push it down a little bit. And uh, by the looks of it, they space them, I don't know, maybe five, six inches apart or so. Faster, faster. Faster, faster. <laughs> okay. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. <laughs> I can move my hands pretty fast, but my feet are getting stuck. Good job. Good job. Good job. Same, same. Same, same? <laughs> She's being very polite. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job, I know. <laughs> all together, we've been here for about three hours. So obviously we put the oxes down, we plowed down all the ground, flattened it. And uh, even on top of that, we had to go ahead and plant all the trees as well. So guys, it is a lot of work. Ramro, Danivad Didi, Danivad. All done. Now, we got to take this damn heavy thing all the way up the mountain again. Whew. So men being men, we obviously had to stop on the way back to the village to come and swim in this beautiful river. I can't swim, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, man. Cause as you can see by the sheen on my face, I am super hot, man. Super sweaty and nice and sticky. So let's go ahead and join these Adonis male models and jump into that river. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you my boxes. They are the world's smallest boxes, man. <laughs> and bloody hell, I wore the only 
great ones I have. So everything's on show right now. So don't worry, I'm not going to be scaring you off. Oh, this is nice, huh? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's so nice and cold. Around this, how much? The degree? Ten degree? Ten degrees? Yeah. This is perfect. It's very slippery, huh? Yeah. Be careful, huh? Very, very slippery. Yeah, please, man. But incredibly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, uh, my bollocks just went inside me. <laughs> Allah Karim. Oh. Allah Karim. Allah Karim. Allah Karim. Allah Karim. Allah Karim. Alhamdulillah. Oh. It is cold. All right, let's dip. Oh. Unfortunately, as you can see, I got the world's worst tan, huh? Look at it, I got two colors. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at this. I got destroyed today, man. We was out obviously on the field all day long. So, uh, wow, look at that. That's my color. That's my new color. <laughs> but look at this incredible view that we have in front of us, man. Absolutely amazing. Surrounded by nature. You've got the mountains all the way up there. Full of jungle, huge boulders. Oh yes! <laughs> wow, he's a good swimmer. Man, you can swim, he can dance as well. He's a very good dancer. He can climb, he can plow, he can do everything, man. You gotta be careful with this guy. Hide your girlfriend from him. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this guy. You never know, he has some mad game. <laughs> this is what life is all about, man. You work hard and you get to play a lot harder. This is absolutely incredible, man. One of the best days I've ever, ever had in my life. What's to complain about? You've got beautiful nature, beautiful water, and great company as well. Thank you guys. It's been a great day today. Yes. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Casanova. <laughs> Man's like a fish. <laughs> it's Aquaman. 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 <laughs> we made it all the way back. We put the oxes in the oxes house and we put the plows over here. And now we're gonna make it all the way back to the village. Ooh, I am completely out of breath, man. Carrying that plow down is one thing, but carrying it up is a whole nother thing. But uh, just over here, you can see they have many, many more rice fields. As you can see, it's full of uh, cow dung. So they're gonna go ahead and spread all this manure, all this fertilizer, and then they're gonna plow every single one of them and then basically do every single thing that we did today times a hundred all the way up the mountain so now we're gonna go all the way to the woods and we're gonna cut some branches basically to help the cucumber climb up and then that way they can go nicely and look at this what do you call this shikul is he gonna climb all this yeah this is like 20 meters. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, okay. I guess I'll just hold the camera. <laughs> I thought I was going to come and help, but there's no chance. <laughs> really? No safety, no rope or nothing, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. Look, this is like monkey. It's like Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This guy's a ninja. Now we have the ladders. Oh wow. You can do it as well? See me too. You can climb? Yeah. Wow. I think I will make it there. Ana mafi mukh. Fi mukh. Mafi mukh. La la la. Ana kalam. Ana kharab. Ah, mafi kharab in the in the kwais. Ana kharab. Inta mafi mukh. Ana mafi. <laughs> wow god look at him he's like thick like a good what's this 10 20 meters in the air already oh my god you you learned this when you was a kid and you, you learned yeah wow they teach you this in school uh, no 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 we have the different ex experience we can teach with the fathers Oh, the, your father's yeah, teaching. Because in school they are not uh, teaching like that. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Look at this man. I can't even see him, he's like up there here somewhere. <laughs> it's actually insane. You notice he is kind of put a notch on one side and then he's cutting only from one side as well. That way uh, you can kind of control which direction it will fall. I think it will fall somewhere over there. Then we can go ahead and pick it up. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so a completely wrong direction. I was thinking it's going to fall over there. We need three. Three, yeah? Yeah. We have three cucumber trees? Uh, yes. Okay. You got three each, uh, one each. Oh, oh one each yeah. to carry, okay. Uh -huh. That way we can look like a real yeah. man when you yeah. go back to the village, huh? Yeah, yeah. Not a little branch. <laughs> <laughs> man. They'll be like, where is this? I suppose what goes up must go down. Honestly, I think climbing down on this type of tree is probably even harder because after like this middle part here, there's literally nothing, it's just bark. And uh, it's still pretty early in the morning, so all these trees are kind of wet from the rain last night. Wow, that is skill right there, man. Man, good job. Thank you. Good job. I have so much more respect for you. I respected you already, but now, now you are my die. No longer by. He's no longer by. He's die. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, huh? It's actually pretty sharp. So, I've seen them. They literally sharpen it every single morning on like a wet stone. They put a little water and uh, they sharpen it literally every single morning. You gotta be careful, otherwise you're gonna leave your hand here. <laughs> You're learning the new techniques today, huh? <laughs> You're like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> That's not how we do it. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> the tree wants to go one way down that cliff and I want to go the other way. So, oh shit, this thing keeps pulling me in different directions. Wow, I nearly fell down that cliff. <laughs> Obviously these guys kept offering to take the biggest branch but uh, I really wanted to make a point man obviously with these villages with men you are basically as good as strong you are you know if you're not that strong and you can't do manual labor then you might as well just go to the film village so I'm making a good point here I think carry the biggest branch and that way I'll feel much better about it when we go all the way back to the village it's heavy though, man. <laughs> Honestly, these guys work super hard. Imagine doing this every week, every other week. And it's not just this. They carry like massive baskets of uh, grass, plants, um, sweet corn. And that they do literally every single day because if they don't do that, the buffaloes don't eat. If the buffaloes don't eat, they don't produce any milk. And if they're not producing milk, you have no milk at home. You got no butter. They got nothing basically, no curd. So it's like a necessity, right? So you probably back at home will just go to your local supermarket, buy five liters of milk and think nothing about it. But they have to do all of this work just uh, for a couple of liters of milk a day. Fuck me, man. This is hard work. So much respect for these guys, honestly. The men of the village have arrived and we are carrying some goodies. Yee! <laughs> hey! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm good, I'm good. My booty. All right. Ah, we made it. Ah. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. See, even the buffaloes give me respect now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now we're like, okay, he belongs here, huh? <laughs> so now I've got the small one. We're going to transport it all the way down and uh, we're going to plant it on the floor. That way, uh, we'll go ahead and make the cucumber climb on it. That way it doesn't rot. This way. Oh yeah. Be careful. Got it? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. That could have been on the sickle. Sickle, <laughs> yeah. 
Not bad. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, no good. No problem. It's all good. My uh, ass took the brunt of it, but yeah, luckily that that sickle could have been right inside of me right now. So which one's the cucumber? Look. Okay, look at this. Mm. There's the cucumber here, mm -hmm. and these are the branches. One more there. And this is what you want, right? This. Yeah. It's a safety see, for safety for cucumber, yeah. This is like all these branches. Oh yes. Do I need to smack it? Yeah. Yes, you know the That's idea, huh? That's done, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's strong, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Something which I'm just learning over here is they have their own separate calendar. So, oh, it's bleeding? Look at that, sir. Oh. It's okay. Sensitive skin. <laughs> oh, you're having oil. Oh. <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells egg down me too. <laughs> smells very good. <laughs> and something which I'm just learning over here is they actually have their own separate calendar and calendar years. Obviously, the calendar that you used to back in the West, 2023, marks the birth of Jesus. But over here, you have uh, 2080, huh? Yes. And Sheba, uh, because Sheba was dead yeah. on. Uh, 2080 years ago yeah wow so you have sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday sunday yeah. where's saturday saturday is here sunday uh sunday is here uh -huh. uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday is red one but it says sunday no sunday saturday yeah no saturday no, this is a mistake. Oh, mistake. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you should be the leader. You, you should be here. You should be number one. <laughs> you should tell them. <laughs> wow. Saturday and Sunday. It's okay. I'll happily have two Sundays. Because they're going to write this for uh, Nepalese for Saturday in here. Oh, so they put yeah, Saturday? They put his mistake. Just Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, all over, huh? Yeah, all, all over. over. <laughs> well, it's already printed. What yeah. can you do? <laughs> you can't print it again, huh? <laughs> so right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, the housewife is going all the way to the school. She's going to go teach? Teaching, yeah? yeah. Teaching, wow. She's been awake since 5 o'clock in the morning, cleaning, cooking, preparing the whole house, cooking us food as well. And after all that, five hours of hard, hard labor. She's going to go ahead and do her second job, which is basically teaching in the local school. And then after that, she'll come back about 3, 4 p.m. And again, it is um, basically she's going to go ahead to the field, pick out some corn stalks, cut some grass as well, bring it to the buffaloes. And after that, if that wasn't already enough, she'll go ahead and cook dinner for everyone else and do the cleaning and the dishwashing. When I tell you they work hard over here, man. I've never seen anything like this, man. And they don't complain about it whatsoever. They just get on with it. It's just their life. But honestly, so much respect for these people, man. <laughs> this is actually where I'm going to be staying for today. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the room. Let me take my shoes off straight away. And I am going to be all the way up here. So the family is actually going to be sleeping in just in that part over here and they graciously gave me uh, I believe this is their son's room the guy that helped me uh, with the bags over here let me go ahead and show you this nice room so honestly pretty spacious so we have uh, some spare blankets over here a nice open window and uh, corrugated metal roof and uh, there you go there's my man over here and uh, there's the bed you have your certificates and uh oh look at this <laughs> you naughty boy you naughty boy <laughs> daddy's little girl huh <laughs> this guy <laughs> I, I knew there was a spark in his eyes and I, I knew i liked him <laughs> look at this we got some more quotes over here i don't care what people think or say about me i know who i am exactly this guy rocks man this guy knows what life is about. We have a train over here. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the bed. Oh. Honestly, pretty comfortable. Nice and uh, like a, a solid uh, plank. 
of wood and a little bit of uh, padding underneath it. And honestly, exactly what I need, man. I've been staying in uh, hotels where they make the beds really, really soft, which is quite nice. But you wake up in the morning and you all like this, huh? So hopefully this will straighten my back out for the next four days. But honestly, pretty nice room. And as well as that, I wanted to go ahead and show you some uh, nice little things as well. So uh, it's like a traditional house made out of mud. And just over here, look at this. We have running electricity. So hopefully I'll be able to charge uh, my batteries and show you. And uh, going to be careful here not to fall down the hole. This is the window that we have. And guys, did you spot that? This thing over here? Wi-Fi. We are in the middle of the village, on top of the mountains, and we have running Wi-Fi. And as well as that, we have a, a nice shower place over there. So I'll probably go there in a minute because honestly, I'm starting to smell like a buffalo myself. <laughs> I know some of you are going to get out of me. It was like, hey, you did not change clothes after you had shower. Guys, I have like four black t-shirts that are exactly the same brand. So I'm going to go ahead in the shower and I'm basically going to look exactly the same. <laughs> Alright, how do you do this? I need to be careful while pointing this camera. Oh well, it's, uh, you gotta see my bollocks. <laughs> oh, I think it's good. And I'm uh, pretty sure this water is gonna be super cold. Well, honestly, I don't mind. It's gonna be super refreshing. Oh, it's cold. Well, honestly, it's super, super refreshing. Alright, let's do it. There you go, literally a one minute shower. Well, that's all they need, man, just to rinse out. And look at this cool view as well. Wow, a shower with a view, huh? What's her name? Pingo. Pingo. Yeah. Pingo, eh? Pingo. Pingo. <laughs> what a cutie. Poor baby. Four baby. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, Pigo. Pigo. Oh. You little attention ho. You like this, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> wow, look at all these babies. Hey, Pigo, baby. Baby. Hey, baby. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at this. This is like the smallest cat I've seen in my life. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. So right now it's dinner time and actually what they're going to go ahead and do is to sacrifice a chicken just for us, literally. Because we are coming here and we are guests. Uh, I guess they wanted to go ahead and show some gratitude. But also that way they go ahead and welcome us to the village. So uh, we went ahead and put some boiling water on it. That way, uh, all the feathers come off a lot easier and they do come off really easy. Look at that. Wow. This is a male or female? It's male. Male. Yeah. And we believe that uh, the male has a better taste than the female. Oh, yeah? So always the male <coughs> meat is more expensive than the female. Oh, especially wow. Especially with the goats and sips. Wow. It gives you more power, huh? Tell me tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wake up with a raging heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just over here, we have the fresh vegetables aloo, aloo, and this one, simi, 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 simi. 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 beans, and this one, sag, sag. <laughs> <laughs> We're just taking out the, the very top bits because obviously, you don't want to be chewing on them, they're gonna be quite hard. And then, I guess, you just go ahead and uh. Kind of break it in half so you can have little chunks like this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make some of the curry as well. So, as you can see, we have like a round stone over here. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, your technique is much better. <laughs> I was just putting it all over the place, huh? I was putting it on the window. That technique is incredible. Now we are in the main kitchen, we got the fire going, we got the hot oil as well, we got the chicken over here, the onions, the tomatoes, and this one is uh, milk, duck, 
oil, 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 okay. Oh man, if he could only smell how good it smells. There's the chicken. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am now on duty. I guess no one is eating tonight. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hopefully, it's going to do a good job. She went for five minutes just to go and prepare some more food. And uh, it's my responsibility to uh, feed everyone tonight. So, no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that man, absolutely incredible. Beautiful colour on it, from the spices, the onions are nice and caramelised underneath it, sweated down, and the chicken is starting to really fry up as well. So it looks like I've been demoted from this job as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and watch. <laughs> Cutting. Cutting, yeah? Tomato. Tomatoes. Yeah. This one you grow here? Yeah, growing? Yeah. Growing here as well? Yeah. Hello. Even the cat is interested in what's happening. Let's go ahead and try this taster. Look at this. This is burning hot. Mmm. Mmm. I can me too. Mmm. That is delicious, man. Kokakaru, mm. maso, mito cha. Mito cha. Yeah, good. <laughs> this is the main meal of the day. And look at this delicious food that we have in front of us. Of course, we have the chicken meat over here. We have the delicious lentil, black lentil over here. We have a bunch of rice. And of course, that delicious alu and the bean. Uh, look at this. How beautiful is this, huh? We've got the whole family joining us. Everyone's just eating, enjoying themselves. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick out a little bit of the meat. Mix it with the rice. Mix it with the potato. And a little bit of aloo. And there you go. We've got the dal part going. And the meat as well. Let's give it a try. Mm. Super tasty, fresh. A little bit of uh, chili from the potato as well. Mm. Mm. Genuinely incredible. Man. I don't think I've had a single bad meal here in the past so far. And honestly, this is up there with the most delicious meals I've had. And here we are, literally not even five minutes later. Every single thing in front of me completely got demolished. The chicken is gone. It's literally just bones over here. The dal and the bath is completely gone. And I actually went ahead and got some refill of chicken. Absolutely incredible, man. Super delicious food. Super fresh. I really can't ask for anything better. And as well as that, we got to share it with the whole family. You know how to do it? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> nice. So after dinner time, right now it is party time. Of <laughs> the energy picked up, man. Look at this. <laughs> Just pick it up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> You're not ready for that move, are you? Dance moves are completely over and now it's about 9.30 and basically well, that's the time that everyone goes ahead and sleeps so go ahead and sleep as well. Okay. Okay. Good night everyone. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. I'll see you at 5.30. Yeah, please. 5.30. Around 6. 6. Okay. Oh, Mind your head. Mind my head. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go ahead and sleep. I will see you first thing in the morning, bright and early. Have a good night.
it is bright and early it is 5 15 in the morning and uh look at this sun is starting to come out and uh the family is actually going to go ahead and start praying around half five in the morning so i'm quickly going to go ahead brush my teeth get ready and i'm also going to go ahead and join Hi, good morning. Namaste. Namaste. Sanchai Hanuncha. Sanchai. What a beautiful morning, huh? Yeah. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. You can see the snow on the tops of the mountain over there. Yesterday we could only see up to there, I think. But today we're lucky enough to see all the way up there as well. And you can see the sun. Starting to rise as well. Sanchez. Sababiani. Sababiani. Sanchez, Aramcho. Oh, look at this. The cats are up as well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Sanchez, Hanuncha. Sanchez, Chu. Sanchez, Chu. <laughs> I love the grandmother, man. Sancha <laughs> Hanuncha. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> She's such a character. <laughs> and here we go. We got the fire going already. I think they're making uh, tea or a little bit of hot water. And uh, they actually go ahead and uh, prepared the goat food as well. So the goat food, I guess, is like a mixture. You can see over there, it's like a little bit of rice. And I think usually they put like a little bit of. Uh, like buffalo milk and salt as well and basically some leftovers from yesterday as well as the uh, grass as well and they are super hungry man look at them they're just ready to eat everything <laughs> oh wow look at this Wow, finish. finish. And right now, of course, it is dal making time. So just over here, we have some black lentil. They went there, they cleaned up. Look at all the house. So as you can see, it's just the seeds, nice and clean. And just over here, they have grinder over here, <laughs> all the way in the village. Completely different version of grinder, I guess, than you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, super efficient, huh? Wow. You come. Me? Yeah. Okay. I will break the machine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can be the camera lady. <laughs> oh, you can be the cameraman, huh? Okay. Good job. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> of course, since it is breakfast time, we're gonna go ahead and make some delicious, delicious fresh baked bread. So over here we have some wheat. I believe a little bit of salt as well and just some hot water that we've been boiling over the wood fire as well it's a nice consistency as you can see she's been mixing it for about a yeah. minute or so but it's already pretty good she's been mixing it for about five minutes or so and I guess just gradually adding more and more water that way it keeps it nice and fluffy and that also really builds up the uh, gluten as well to make it nice and stretchy uh, now we are cooking so of course we have the wood fire over there and we have hot hot oil and if you can notice there is a, a plastic bag over here um, so they actually grow pretty much every single thing that they can grow over here like the rice they make themselves and they grow it themselves over here which I'll show you later the tomatoes the cucumbers the pumpkins literally every single thing but of course there are limitations to what they can do so like the oil for example obviously they can't grow oil and mill it and press it and so on it's too intensive and it will take too much space so as i'll go ahead and show you everything today you'll notice pretty much the only thing they go ahead and buy from somewhere else is oil there is the silver to be made as you can see they kind of use like a a makeshift funnel 
So like a just the top of a Coca-Cola bottle. And then they go ahead and put it over there with like a a dal uh, pot in the middle to keep that circle shape. Oh, it looks good. Oh, look at this. Oh, a lot of things are happening. We've got the sal roti being made over here. We have fishes. We have the whole men of the village over here as well. And we have the beautiful grandmother over here making alu. Alu. Oh, yes. Alu. Alu agdam mitu. Mitu. Mitu acha. Mitu acha. <laughs> this lady's always smiling, man. She honestly is like the happiest feeling in the world every time I see her, man. I don't know if she's been sitting there like this for literally half an hour. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Wow, incredible, huh? I am, I've been sitting here for like what one minute and my legs are already shaking. So, this is the finished product. It's actually pretty good. We've got about, I don't know, I'd say maybe a kilo, maybe a kilo and a half of fish. And uh, as I was telling earlier, they literally share everything, even the cat gets her own fish. You need to taste. Taste. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Fresh celery tea first in the morning. Good? Tasty? Egg down me too? Egg down me too. Let's give it a try. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Bam. How is it feel? Egg down me too. It's super delicious man, look at that. The outside of it is nice and crunchy, the middle is nice and fluffy, a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. Mm. It's chow time, so obviously everyone's been working hard at the rice field, plowing the ground with the ox and uh, you know, fertilizing the ground. So uh, right now it's uh, 20 to 2 o'clock and somehow they have breakfast at 2 but lunch at 10 o'clock in the morning I don't know how that works but anyway we are basically going there now to go ahead and deliver the dal but of course that delicious delicious lentil and rice we've got a express delivery coming in so the only thing is is uh, I obviously can't fall down right now after they eat, no problem. I can uh, just fall down with the plates, but right now I have all the rice and uh, dal bat with me. So, dal bat. Dal bat. <laughs> so, I'm being extra careful. Namaste, Dai. Fresh chow. Fresh chow. <laughs> Express delivery. <laughs> Uh, we have just one more obstacle. Oh, yeah. Here we go, we made it. Oh, yes. Uh, this one here. This, this one? one here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. So it's chow time for the oxes as well. And they basically come running to uh, eat this fresh, fresh corn. Oh, they're hungry, huh? Very hungry. Very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> they, they come running, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see them work this fast all day. <laughs> you should have seen them. They start running like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> These guys are machines, man. Not just for plowing, but also for eating. I've honestly been here for probably five minutes and they finished like a good two thirds of it. Look at that. She, she's not even chewing. She's just swallowing it. <laughs> And I really love the fact that they eat at the same time. So obviously we are going ahead to prepare the food over there. And uh, obviously it makes sense that the, the oxes go ahead and eat at the same time as well. Since they're not really doing anything. But really nice to see. We are portioning up the food over here. There you go. Bat. Bat, yeah. Bat. Rice bat, uh, Nepali, 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 Nepali language bat. Bat. Yeah. This is the same rice you grow here? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Same yeah, one, yeah. yeah? Same, same, same. Okay. So all this rice that you yeah, make here? It is all plant. Um, so all of this rice, you eat yeah. all of it or do you sell as well? No, understand. I grow here, uh -huh. but in, you know them sell, not in sell. You can't sell. It's, yeah. it's just enough to eat. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. enough to eat, okay. Yeah. Let's help them out. 
There you go, there you go. Chow time. Back to work, yeah? Okay. All right, guys. Have a Bye -bye. good day. See you. Yeah. See you. Good. Have a good one. Oh. All right. Time to take the, uh, the food back home. So there you have it, guys. That has been 24 hours being adopted by this amazing, beautiful, warm, welcoming, hospitable Nepali family, man. Honestly, I could go on and on with a new adjective, but uh, my vocabulary is very limited, huh? But one incredible first 24 hours it has been, man. Honestly, I feel super welcomed here super appreciative and uh honestly i can't for, ask for anything better they literally showed me every single thing that they could show me over here got to show me the goats the buffaloes milking of the buffaloes they introduced me to their grandmother the granddad the grandson as well literally the whole family and also a huge welcome that they gave us uh they went ahead and sacrificed one of their biggest chickens just to make us feel welcome and make us feel real part of the family man so honestly it's a pleasure an absolute honor just to be here man and uh, i'm happy to say that i'm actually going to be here for the next week or so so there's a lot more videos to come from over here and uh, honestly i can't wait to experience much more of this beautiful nature i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one take care